A narrative description of motion is just a, uh, a written account of what was happening with the motion. Uh, these are nice because they're typically understandable by, uh, by the layperson. So even if you haven't studied physics, you could probably understand what somebody was talking about with a narrative description. Uh, sometimes people struggle, though, because when we do these in physics, we provide a lot more detail and a lot more specificity than you would in your everyday life. There are a few things that go into a narrative description. Uh, in general, we're going to be looking at the position, the velocity, and the acceleration of that object and how those things change over time, as well as the type of motion. And uh, if that changes over time, we'd specify that as well. The position just means the location. Where is that object at the beginning? Where is it uh, at, at each point after that? Where does it end? The velocity is the rate at which position changes. That's how fast the object is going. And that does need to include the direction of motion. So we can think of the velocity as being the speed and the direction together. The acceleration describes how the velocity changes. More specifically, it's the rate at which velocity changes. We'll get into more detail with that when we talk about the, uh, the numerical calculations we can do with, uh, with acceleration and accelerated motion. But for now, let's just stick with uh, the simpler version of which direction is the object accelerating. Um, so if our velocity is, say, to the right and our object is getting faster, we know that acceleration must also be to the right. Our velocity is becoming even more to the right if it's getting faster. So it's changing in that it's becoming more right. That's the direction for acceleration. If our object is moving to the right, its velocity is to the right, and it's slowing down, then that velocity is becoming less to the right. If that motion continues, it'll actually start moving to the left. So in that case, our acceleration must be to the left as well. In general, if an object is speeding up, the velocity and acceleration are in the same direction. If the object is slowing down, they're in opposite directions. And if the object is turning or changing direction, then velocity and acceleration are perpendicular to each other. Now, we might have a combination of those. Something might be making a turn and speeding up. In that case, the acceleration would be um, part of it in the same direction as motion and part of it perpendicular. So that acceleration would be off at a, an angle from the velocity. Uh, the type of motion here, this is typically a very short part of the description, but it can be very important as well. Um, talking about whether an object is falling, sliding, swinging, rolling, um, and so on. So for, uh, for an example here, if I had, say, a block sliding down a ramp, or a ball rolling down a ramp, um, when I see those two different situations, there's really a, a number of different considerations I have to make for those two cases. So that it's, it's really short. You know, the ball rolls or the block slides, maybe just one word, um, but it, it does make a big difference. So the writing process on this, I typically go through the, the motion, my understanding of the motion, and I identify what I think of as key moments. That's when something important changes. So the very beginning and the very end are always key moments. And then in between, anytime I have a change in acceleration, uh, that's, that's a key moment. Um, so if it goes from speeding up to slowing down, or if it's turning right and then it starts to turn left, that's a key moment. Um, anytime the direction of motion changes, that's a key moment. Um, and uh, I'm going to make sure that I dis make descriptions on each side of the key moments. So for, uh, for each one of those segments of time, I'll think about what's the position, what's the velocity, what's the acceleration, and what's the type of motion that's going on here. And then we're going to connect those ideas, try and uh, assemble it into some meaningful um, paragraph. So let's, uh, let's look at an example of this. Um, I'll show a, a quick video clip, and then you can see the narrative description that would go with it. All right, pretty, uh, pretty simple motion here. Um, 
my narrative is going to start the moment the ball is released from the person's finger, and it's going to end the moment before it gets to the, uh, to the box at the end there. So for the narrative description on this, I would say that the ball begins from rest at the top of the ramp and accelerates toward the bottom of the ramp. That's one key moment. That's where the ball begins. Nothing really changes all the way down to the bottom. It's accelerating at a constant rate, so it's getting faster. It's accelerating toward the bottom of the ramp the whole time. That direction doesn't change. Um, so really just the two key moments, the beginning and the end. Uh, the speed of the ball increases all the way to the bottom of the ramp. So some different types of statements I have here. The ball begins from rest. That's a statement of velocity. It's not moving initially. At the top of the ramp, that's a position statement or a location. Accelerates toward the bottom of the ramp is acceleration. The speed of the ball, that's talking about velocity, um, increases. Velocity changes over time. That's acceleration as well, um, or we, we can get some information about acceleration. All the way to the bottom of the ramp, that's a position statement. So really there's, there's a lot of information here. Uh, and uh, as, as I'm reading this, I realize that I left out the, the fourth piece, uh, the type of motion. So it is important to, to say that the ball rolls from rest at the top of, uh, uh, of the ramp, or begins from rest at the top of the ramp and accelerates as it rolls toward the bottom. But the, the word rolls ought to be in there at some point. All right, one more example of motion and a narrative, di uh, narrative description to go with it. This is a uh, 100-meter dash. So the motion for any one of these runners, it's all going to be about the same here. Uh, the runner begins at the starting line at rest. At the starting line is a position statement. At rest is a velocity statement. When the starter pistol fires, I'm identifying a, a new significant moment. When the starter pistol fires, she accelerates toward the finish line. So that's an acceleration with a direction. Getting faster, that's a speed or a velocity statement until, so a new time here, until she reaches her maximum running speed. For the rest of the race, so between the time when she reaches the maximum running speed and the uh, finish line, she runs with constant velocity, no acceleration. Now, constant velocity implies no acceleration, so it's a little redundant, but you know, we're being very explicit at the beginning here. So she's not changing her velocity, which means acceleration is zero here. She's going to run that way until she passes the finish line, at which point she's going to slow down, which means she's accelerating in uh, the opposite direction as her velocity. So her velocity is uh, toward the finish line or oh, away from the starting line anyway. She's crossed the finish line at this point. Um, so the acceleration would be backward toward the finish line. Um, until she comes to a complete stop. That is another velocity statement shortly after the finish line, and that is a position statement. So these narrative diagrams, they, they really are very detailed. Um, as long as we uh, uh, understand the motion from what's being stated and can clearly identify um, the different velocities, accelerations, positions, and types of motion throughout, um, then it's a, a good and, and workable uh, description. We're going to also be using these when we uh, deal with other types of descriptions. Sometimes it's useful to take another type of description and at least put it into a, a mental narrative before we try and solve these problems. So we keep thinking along these lines and this, this level of detail with our descriptions of motion.